Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how to guide my name is Lee also known as Osiris and in today's guide we're going to be looking at how to breed and transfer egg moves in Pokemon Sword and Shield but before we get into the video I just need to give a big shout out to all of our new subscribers to the channel and to everyone else as well for supporting the videos thank you so much for all of the support it really means a lot to me and it just motivates me to create even more content and even better content going forward so I hope you're enjoying Enjoying the sword and shield guides that we've had out so far on the channel I've got a lot planned for the next few weeks if there's anything in particular that you guys would like to see a guide on or any content on at all please leave a comment down below and let me know and I will make sure to try my best to cover everything that's suggested so without further ado my friends let's get into this guide today let's have a look at how we breed and then transfer egg moves in Pokemon sword and shield To kick us off into this egg breeding and egg transfer guide today, we're just going to discuss quickly the new mechanic that we have available within the Sword and Shield games, which is that egg transfer method. Now in previous generations, we only had access to breeding two Pokemon to produce an egg, where the egg move would be bred down to the baby Pokemon, but we have a new mechanic now where we can place two of the same Pokemon in the daycare or the nursery, and they will be able to pass an egg move between them. We will cover this method later on in this guide, but first of all, we're going to cover just basic egg move breeding and the Pokemon that we're going to use in this example is Conkledo. So we're going to head over to Cerebi.net. The Conkledo is on the screen as you can see right now and what we need to do first of all is identify the egg group this Pokemon falls in because whatever the egg group this Pokemon falls in means that we can look within this egg group and find other Pokemon that this particular Pokemon can breed with. Now the next thing we need to do is identify what egg move we would like to breed onto Conkledur. And as you can see here we've got highlighted Mach Punch. So Mach Punch is the move that we want to breed down and eventually have on this Conkledur. So we'll go through the step by step stages with how we're going to do that. Now the next page we're going to look at is the individual egg groups that we have within the Pokemon game. Where every Pokemon falls within a certain egg group. And like I've already mentioned every Pokemon within a certain egg group can breed with another Pokemon within an egg group. So each Pokemon is going to be able to have a different move pool and if you want a certain Pokemon to learn a certain egg move you need to find that move on another Pokemon within that egg group and then breed the two and then you will get the baby Pokemon with that egg move. Now some Pokemon cannot pass down egg moves from other Pokemon it doesn't quite work like that but you can look at individual Pokemon's page, see what egg moves they are able to learn, and then normally from that, you'll be able to go into the egg group and see which Pokemon learn that move normally and are able to breed and pass that down to this Pokemon. Now getting back to the Conkledur, it is in the human-like egg group. So what we need to do is find a Pokemon within this group that learns Mach Punch. So as you can see, we're gonna just scroll down here and straight away we can identify Hitmonchan. We know Hitmonchan is the punchy Pokemon and it is more than likely gonna learn this fighting type attack. And as you can see, level four, it does learn Mach Punch. So that's the Pokemon that we're gonna use within this guide. The thing to note though, is that the Pokemon passing down the egg move needs to be a male. So we need to catch a male Hitmonchan to breed down this egg move onto a female Conkledur, Timber, or Girder. Now, Hitmonchan is a little bit awkward to find in the wild. It only appears in max raid dens, so we want to probably try and get a Tyrog and then level it up to 20. But once we do, we need to make sure that Hitmonchan's defense is higher than its attack to make sure that Tyrog evolves into Hitmonchan. So there's a few steps in this process to getting this Hitmonchan first so we can get this egg move, but it will be well worth it in the long run. Now the first thing we want to do is locate Tyrog. We know it's in the wild area. You can look on Cerebi to see the locations of where it spawns. It's quite a popular Pokemon and it doesn't take us very long to actually find Tyrog in the wild. So here we go. We are going to be able to catch this Tyrog. And the next step, once we have got this Tyrog, is to take it make sure that we EV it correctly we can use vitamins to do that but we need to ensure that that defense stat above all else is above the attack stat to ensure when we do evolve it it does turn into that Hitmonchan so we can obtain Mach Punch so we can breed it down onto our Conkledur. There's the Tyrog, it is caught, which is the first step in this long process. But I feel doing a longer process here 
does give us a bit more room to explain all of the different ins and outs of the breeding process and making sure that you guys really understand the method that we're going through here to get it right every time when you transition this into your own games. So we've got the Tyrog. The next step is to head up to Winden because we need to grab ourselves some vitamins. In this town, the first Pokemon Center you'll get to in Winden, the man at the desk will sell vitamins. So we want to go over here. The vitamin that we want is the Defense EV vitamin, which is the iron. So we'll buy a bunch of these and we'll give them to our Tyrog and make sure that that defense stat is higher than the attack stat. And once that is done, then we can give Tyrog a rare candy, level it up one, and it should evolve into Hitmonchan. So as you can see, we're going to give a bunch of iron vitamins to our Tyrog. And we can go into our summary screen here and just check that our defense is higher than our attack. And as you can see, we've got 72 defense and a attack stat of 60. So our defense is definitely higher than our attack. So we're pretty safe to use the red candy and evolve this Tyrog into what should be Hitmonchan. As you can see, it's leveling up there and it's probably the easiest way to do it rather than wasting a candy on this. If we just use one red candy, we know we're just leveling up once rather than wasting any of our XL. L or medium candies here. So there is the Hitmonchan. We have finally got it, which is great. So first step complete. And now we'll move on to the second step within this process. And we need to find ourselves a breeding partner for this Hitmonchan. Now it needs to be a female. We do have a female Gerda here that will be able to produce a baby Pokemon and pass that egg move down alongside it. Now the male needs to be the one with the egg move. First off, we need to teach Mac Punch to Hitmonchan. It is a higher level, so we'll have forgot that early level move. But what we can do is go over to the move relearner, which is in any Pokemon Center, and ask him to relearn Mac Punch to Hitmonchan. And as you can see on your screen right now, we're doing that. We are getting Hitmonchan to relearn the Mac Punch, and it's easy as that. There is no cost to this. And like I say, this facility is available in every Pokemon Center within the Sword and Shield games. Now, once we've done that, we've got everything set up in place for us to start producing some eggs so we want to head over to one of the daycare centers or the nurseries and the one that we're going to be using today is by Tuffield so we'll head over to Tuffield we'll fly there right now and we'll head to route 5 where the nursery is located so as you can see we're speaking to the NPC outside of the nursery she will take our Pokemon and then hopefully produce an egg we'll first submit Hitmonchan and then our Gerda they're both male and female in the same egg group and that egg move is on that Hitmonchan. So once we've put the Pokemon into the daycare center, we can just cycle around and wait for this NPC to provide us with an egg. This next process is very straightforward. We just need to cycle around for a little while. We'll just do one lap and then come back to the lady and hopefully as you can see, yep, yeah, she has raised one arm up to her face and one across her body. So an egg is ready, ready to collect and we will just pick this egg up and hopefully this is the one with the egg move passed down. We've done everything correct so far, so all going well, we should end up with that timber with the Mac Punch. We're just cutting the scene so we don't have to see me cycling backwards and forwards to hatch this egg and timber is ready to come out of the egg right now and we'll be able to see soon enough whether that egg move has passed down to it or not. So we'll just head into the Pokemon screen and go into the summary screen for Timber and we can check the move pool and see if that egg move is passed and there we go. Hitmonchan has passed down the Mac Punch and the breeding process has worked. So that is how you breed down egg moves on two baby Pokemon from Pokemon within the same egg group. We've looked at the process with how to determine what egg group each Pokemon is in, and then looking at the egg group within that pool to see which Pokemon learns a certain move that can be passed down to that specific Pokemon that you want. And then you can go through this process like I have done to get that move finally obtained on that Pokemon. Now the next step we're gonna look at the other method is the transfer of egg moves between two Pokemon. Now we can see here we have a female Gerda already it doesn't have an egg move it doesn't have an egg move it's just got dynamic punch low kick rock throw and pound but this timber now that we've just bred has access to Mac punch so if we level up this timber and put it into the daycare with this Gerda then we can pass and transfer both egg moves but the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we have an empty slot on our female Gerda that we're going to transfer this egg move across to now we can go back to the move relearner that we went to earlier 
and he also deletes moves. So we can select our Godo, as you can see on the screen right now. And we'll just get rid of any move in this move pool that it's got. The four moves, we need three. So we'll just remove the bottom one. It doesn't really matter. Anyone will do unless you really need that specific move. Just get rid of one that you can afford to get rid of. Now with that done, the next thing that we need to keep in mind is when you're transferring moves between two Pokemon, they need to be the exact same Pokemon. I cannot just put Gerda in the daycare with Timber to have the transfer happen. It needs to be Gerda and Gerda, it would need to be Timber and Timber, or it would need to be Conkledur and Conkledur to pass moves between. So it needs to be the same Pokemon. They need to be male and female to pass moves between, but this is how we can do it. So you can see the Gerda here is that Timber that we just bred. We've leveled it up and it now is a Gerda with that Mac Punch in the Mac Punch is what we want to transfer onto our female girder that has only three moves because we've just deleted one. So we'll head out of the Pokemon Center once again and head back to the daycare center on Route 5 where we just were and we will deposit both girders into the daycare center. We don't really care about obtaining an egg here. We just need to cycle around once these two Pokemon are in the daycare and that should be enough time. Once an egg is produced, that should be enough time for the transfer to happen between the egg moves. So as you can see, we're just gonna do a quick cycle up and down and we'll come back to the lady and there we go. The arms are crossed and an egg is waiting. We're not gonna collect the egg. And all we're gonna do is collect the Pokemon from within the daycare center and see if this transfer has happened. Just remember when you are doing this that you will need to have the same species of Pokemon go into the daycare to transfer moves between each other. So we'll take both Gerdos out and we'll go to the summary screen once again and we'll have a look at our Gerda. This is the one that we have bred. So this is our male one with the original Mac Punch that we bred onto it. There we go. And we can have a look at the female now and it has passed on that Mac Punch. So there you go. That is how we transfer egg moves between two Pokemon. And it's as simple as that. You just need to know the ins and outs of how to do it. You just need to know this method and you will be able to transfer moves between any Pokemon that you like within the game once you've bred that initial egg move down to it or caught a Pokemon in the wild with that egg move. Now remember that you can catch Pokemon in the wild with that special aura that sometimes have an egg move when you catch them so you can do it that way if it's easier than going through the whole process of breeding an egg move down just to pass it to something that you've previously caught that you might want to use in the competitive scene but that wraps up the guide for us my friends i hope you've enjoyed it please remember to leave a like on the video if you have found this useful do subscribe to the channel as well for more pokemon content and i will see you all for another guide very soon thank you once again for tuning in until the next one take care and bye bye